Teresa Guerrero usually makes headlines with her reports here on Inside Edition, but today it's her own story that's drawing attention. She's just written a new book in which she shares some painful personal moments as she was building her career. I talked with her about her memoir entitled Warrior. My last name, Guerrero, actually means warrior in Spanish. And when I was little, my mother was diagnosed with lymphoma. I was eight, she was 29. But before she died, she pulled me aside and she said, Lisa, never forget that your last name is Warrior. we just like to ask you about- Lisa Guerrero is famous for her investigations on Inside Edition. That behavior was reprehensible. Her riveting book is featured in People Magazine this week, and today she appeared on CBS Mornings. Lisa Guerrero joins us right now. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. In her book, Lisa reveals the sexual harassment and misogyny she says she endured in her early days in TV and when she was the sideline reporter for Monday Night Football. It was a very emotional team meeting. The dream job was, in truth, a nightmare. For me, it was. I faced immediate criticism because even before I grabbed the microphone, they were writing stories about how I was just a cheerleader. I used to be a model. I was simply an actress. How could they have given me the best job that a woman could get in sports? That's why I wrote the book. The book is a cautionary tale and a love letter to other young women getting in the business. One heart-wrenching section of the book deals with how she suffered a miscarriage while on the air live for Monday Night Football. You're standing on the sidelines. I was standing on the sidelines, and in the first half, I started to cramp. I started to feel a great deal of pain and nausea and a headache, and I thought I was going to faint, but I knew that I couldn't. I knew that I had to deliver my live sure. reports. I miscarried a child, and I was back here at work two hours later. I'm so sorry to hear that, yep. Deborah. Yep, two I, hours I, later. Here's what I think. I think when so much is expected of you, and you feel like people want me to do this job, I need to do this job, you don't want to let anybody down. Yeah. You don't want to let yourself down. Lisa's also forthcoming about her marriage to former Major League Baseball pitcher Scott Erickson. They were the glamorous it couple until things fell apart. And even though you and Scott are divorced, you've still stayed in touch and stayed friendly. Just because we can't live a life together as man and wife, we still decided to remain friends. Her 84-year-old father proudly holds the book after recently undergoing quadruple bypass surgery. He's proud of it because it represents my mother and my mother's name and, and the legacy on her side. But I think he's also proud to, to see that I was resilient enough to overcome what I went through.